just got a notification on my phone saying that I got something on my doorstep. Let's see what is it. What could it be? You know what is by the title of the video? It's a sword. I bought a fucking Japanese sword. I mean, it's a Japanese sword, not made in Japan, but oh well. First of all, I went to multiple websites just to find some swords, but I live in New Zealand, meaning you cannot find a lot of good stuff in here. And I thought, dude, I cannot find a bloody sword in New Zealand. And then I, the more I looked, and then there's actually quite a few websites. And um, I got one that it's not too expensive, because let's face it, I'm not fucking rich. All right, let's open the, this up. Sorry for the camera and go. I'm, I'm really lazy to set up stuff. I work as a filmmaker as a part time as well, and uh, this casual videos I really want the less and less trouble. So, I found this sword in in a website called I think um, Superior Swords. They are based in, in I think they are based in Auckland, and. Uh, and ask a few questions and so on. This is this is a replica of QV of Hattori's Hanzo. I think this, this is the bride version. And uh, this is not Hattori Hanzo. Oh, okay, I don't know how it opens. Just goes. It's very opaque though. Give, give kudos for that. They shipped really fast. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that though. Wasn't like. It wasn't like I had to wait a few days. I ordered literally like before yesterday and, and it just arrived. So, yeah. So, ooh, let me just start to open this properly. With all cut in my hand. Oh, that almost happened. Ooh, shit. Alright. Alright. So, one more zip and then we can properly unboxing. Alright. Interesting. Okay. I already stand as well, which is strange because can it fit in here? Some screws, so my my feet. Move this. I'm just gonna take off this. But thing here it's really hot. This is on. Right. So ooh. first time my hand is short. Let's see. Let's put this aside for a second and let's see what's in the box or what's not in the box. Oops. Some instructions. I'm not gonna watch the read instructions. But a nice card, hand forged swords, folded and clay temper cotton and weapon suits and armor. Ah, so this is just the business part of the guy. So if you guys if you guys like what you see here, so this is the brand there, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can know what's going on. I'll I'll make a bureau of that later. I got candy, fucking bought candy here. What the hell, candy? Oh, yeah, 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 this is the wall mount, so I'm gonna, well, of course I'm gonna have a Japanese sword in the wall. I'm 
case of a zombie apocalypse, I can be like the the woman from Walking Dead, you know? Like some zombies. More red. More red. Alright. So this is must be the this is this is all this. I'll, I'll assemble later and show you guys what it looks like in the wall. I'm not gonna cut anything today because I'm not. Really, yeah, let's go to the interesting part. Hey, all right. So, good morning, blade and armor cane. Okay, this is pretty much don't chop your chop your chop your own head off. It's pretty much a disclaimer thing. Right. All right. Let's just open this up. This is, I think it cost me like two ninety quid, two ninety thousand dollars. So it's quite cheap. Let's see what we get for the price. He he did say to me that I talked to him a little bit on Facebook. He said to me that it's not gonna break in um, against like human force so pretty much the oh okay 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 wow okay yeah this is cool wow the handle is a lot of details in the handle like it's actually leather. Oh, cool! Wow. So far, so good. Come these beautiful details here of of the of the handle, like the oh, and it, it's it seems to be a very quality metal. Oh, it came with a little QB thing. So, and what is this? Hattori Hanzo, Bright Swords from QB. This is the actual Bright Sword, so I was right. I did order the right one. Okay, let's just remove this stuff here. Okay. All right. Just open up a camera. Ooh. All right. Well, the blade is much smaller than I'm, I imagine a samurai sword blade would, would be. I wonder if this is right. I mean, things always look bigger on camera. On camera, right? It came with like like an oil thing, I guess to conserve. Is it sharp? Yeah, it's sharp. It's very very sharp. Wow. Okay, it's got the Hattori Hanzo logo there. Forgot what, what was it? Okay, this is this is interesting. I mean, you expect some of my to be really big, but in reality, they're not that big. Wow. I'll show you guys some close up details of it on my rolls now. Cool. So it's really sharp. It's got, you got some details here on the handle. I don't know what that means. I didn't do the research for this video, to be fair. Hold on, there's a cat here and I don't want to chop his head off. It's tempting. I don't want to chop his head off. I didn't throw, I just threw a paper on him. So it's harmless, don't worry. All right. Wow. I mean, for 200, 300 bucks, plus that this cost like $18. 
is a good value. It feels good in the hand. I mean, I wonder if. Yeah. So, why the border? Because some of my swords are cool. That's it. Thank, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll try to do some more unboxing cool shit around. So stay tuned.